Billions of cups and coffee are made and drunk every year, but what is the caffeine in coffee doing to your body? Caffeine is a stimulant drug which stimulates your central nervous system. This drug though affects people differently. Some people are more tolerable to caffeine and can drink a lot more than others, but like most things in life, coffee and caffeine has its ups and downs. Drinking coffee is believed to help reduce the risk of cancer, but drinking too much could increase your risk of bladder cancer. We know the main positive effect of caffeine is increased tension and helps keep you awake longer. Caffeine is also linked to a short but big increase in your blood pressure. There's currently no proof that caffeine will increase your blood pressure over a long period of time though. Caffeine can cause the loss of nutrients and vitamins such as potassium, zinc, magnesium and vitamin C. It's highly recommended that you don't drink coffee or other caffeine heavy beverages around meal time due to caffeine reducing the absorption of iron and calcium. Like other drugs you can suffer a caffeine overdose. In extreme cases of a caffeine overdose you could potentially die. 20 to 30 percent of Americans consume more than 600 milligrams of caffeine a day, which is much more than 300 milligram or two cups of coffee limit the American Medical Association recommends. A recent study found that those who are under 55 years of age and drank more than 28 cups of coffee a week were more likely to die prematurely than those who drank less. This study was conducted over a 17 year period. So should you give up your cup of coffee in the morning and afternoon? If coffee and caffeine is a big part of your lifestyle, you're going to struggle to put the cup down. But don't rely on caffeine to keep you awake, because it's linked with sleeping difficulties, so you'd be better off going to bed earlier or not having coffee in the afternoon.